Actually, let me show, let me let me search for the video so we can laugh. Because supposedly this is a smart Muslim. We don't agree with this. You know what are you talking about? Like, come on, we don't believe in such a thing. Let us laugh together. Oh. And now we will say, I don't agree. You, you Muslims, you, you agree. You, the only agreement Muslim they agree is not to agree. They agree not to agree. Let us see which video. Destiny, destiny, destiny. Oh. I think this one, maybe. <clears throat> Let us be sure before we play it. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab. Anhu, according to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he had he needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn al-Khattab and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, oh Amir al muminin how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Did you see? It's a quite a good argument if you would like to look at it. Did he just say that? It's a quite a good argument if you would like to look at it, <clears throat> it's a good argument. So who is the one who have a good argument? It's us. Why you want to punish me for a crime I committed if it's a, it was a destiny? I mean, what kind of logic this religion you know you come with? The sound was low. Really? Okay, hold on. Very low. Okay, what about now? To one of the uh, narrations, uh, he had he needed to be punished because he stole. This is better now. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line. He says, "Oh Umar, oh Amir al Mu'minin, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa taala." Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of this man. He He's says, ahead. Well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him as well. Wow. So these deeds. So wow. Wow. Did you see the wow? Did you see the wow? So the idiot who is trying to make himself smart, this is your religion. The guy is a thief. He's asking himself why I'm going to be punished. What I did exactly. It was a destiny. It's Allah. He decided for me to steal. So how you can punish me for something I did not choose to do or not to do. This is the whole point. And you're a funny shake. He said, this is a quite good argument. If you want to think about it. It's a quite good argument if you want to think about it. <laughs> what the heck is that? So all the religion of Islam is a fraud. A person who commit fornication, as the Hadith says, he did not choose to commit fornication. It was a destiny. A woman, she sleep with the man. She did not choose to sleep with the man. It was a destiny. Allah, he decide 
that this woman, she will sleep with this man. It's not a choice. And that goes for everything. Theft, we just heard him talking about a thief. The thief is asking Omar. You see, uh, Omar did not say to him, you stupid, this is not what destiny, what Islam teach. Even the sheikh himself, he said, this is a quite good argument. It's a quite good argument if you want to look at it. So Islam suffer from the lack of just and the lack of understanding. Somebody saying, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5 says, Before I formed you, I know you. So what? This is the knowledge of God. What does this have to do with our topic? I can even say to you a different one. That God, he chose you before even you are exist. So what? This is about God knowledge. But even the chosen one in Christianity, they can always reject Jesus, reject God. Isn't Judah one of the disciples of Jesus? Was he, guys? Was Judah one of the disciples of Jesus? He was, right? Did he? rejected Jesus and betrayed Jesus. So in Christianity, we don't believe in such a thing. Even if you are from those who can be considered the chosen one, still you are free. Free to continue, free to leave. Even Peter, he denied Jesus. Why? Because it's based on a free will. Jesus, he knew what Peter would say. Jesus, he knew what Judah would do. That is based on his knowledge, not based on destiny. It was their choice. But in this cult, you don't have a choice of anything. So when Allah, he trusted the Jews, the Jews did not trust or let us say accept to be trusted it was a fate it was a plan of Allah so when the Muslim they say that Allah he sent the book and the book corrupted it was the plan of Allah to corrupt the book for everything in Islam is destiny do we understand when a Muslim he says to you your book is corrupted ask him you are talking about the book of Allah right that, because that the Quran says Allah he sent down the Torah and the gospel the Injil And ask him right away, isn't it everything happen is a destiny? If he is a person of knowledge, he will say yes. If he is an ignorant, he will say whatever he want. Anything bad happened or good, it was a destiny. All the Quran confirmed that. Any disaster, it was a destiny made by Allah. By the permission of Allah, by the order of Allah, by the destiny which is written for you before he created you. So is Corruption of the gospel of the Muslims claim happened by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah? Hmm? Was it happening by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah? If we can find the Muslim to answer such a, th such a thing, which will never dare to answer, all Muslims have to agree to say the Quran say clearly. Everything happened by the will of Allah. So by the will of Allah, the Bible of Allah is a, is, is a corrupted. So Allah himself is part of the plan of corruption. Do you see how stupid this religion is? And do you see why we laugh at it? And this is why it is satanic stupid. You see, stupidity, it cannot be coming from God. There is no way God, he is God, and yet he is a stupid. 
So how everything is done by the plan of Allah and the destiny of Allah. And then Allah is corrupting his book. It's not the man who corrupted the book, if this is true. It's not. A Muslim, he is quoting for us from the Bible. Let us show you what he said, just to, just to show you how we can love at the smart Abdul. Are you ready, Abdul? This is Abdul, he's trying to be smart. Let me find his... Uh... All right. This is Abdul trying to prove a point. So look what he said. Let us zoom in and then we will laugh more. So this Abdul is smart. He said, let us go to this book. Verse number one, chapter number one, verse number 11. We have obtained inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works of all things according to the council. And now he is saying to you, well, it says they are destiny. Isn't it? Isn't it? But if you read the verse after it, because you are a donkey like your prophet, it says, I heard of your faith by the Lord. So is their faith is a destiny? No, this is why it's called their faith. This is faith, my friend. And when things come to a time that Jesus, he have a plan for sure. There's a destiny, but this is not the destiny is you what you do. There's a destiny that in the end of the time, Jesus will come. This is the plan. When the right time happen, hey, all mankind, and even your stupid religion agree, all mankind will be judged by Jesus. Everything is in the earth, everything in heaven. And the Messiah, he chose us by his plan. His plan is there is people there they believe in me and I will save them. But this is what Jesus said. Not everyone says to me, I Lord, Lord, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So it's not a destiny. So he knew there is people there. He knew them by name, but not by saying Jesus, Jesus, they will be saved. And when the Bible says Jesus, he chose us, that is based in his knowledge not based on a destiny. The destiny is that he will come back. The destiny is he will save us. The destiny he promised us that whoever believe in me and die, he will live. But not the destiny that if you commit sin, he forced you to do it. And if you read the last statement, You see, this is why the Muslim, by the way, they don't want to show you the verses after and the verses before. Because they are Muslims. If you go to the Bible, you will see the following. Let me go, let me open the verses in the Bible and so, so we can read. And then we will cry, he will say, this is say that CP. <laughs> we don't have your garbage in, your, in, in, in our book. So let's go there. Uh, this is what he quote for us, verse number 11. But look what it says. Thus we should be to praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom you also, after you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of a promise, which is in rust, our inheritance, until you can read the rest. So you are a liar and you are a fraud and you are a son of Muta. 
all the chapter is speaking about because you believe, because you have faith, because you trust Jesus, because you, you agree with the promise of Jesus, because you have faith in the Lord Jesus. This is what will save you, and that would make you chosen. The whole chapter in front of you, you coward. So never listen to a Muhammad and he called for you a verse. Go and read the chapter. Coward, liar, like your prophet. And we got you busted. Who is next? Can you do better? Do we have any smarter Muslim? You know, a Muslim person is so smart to the point he believed that he have a God, he will give him women with big boobs. And this God, he made Adam commit sin. When I ask a Muslim, if you remember, we have a previous debate, a Muslim man, he says to me, the reason Allah, he made Adam commit sin as a destiny, because Allah wanted to be famous. <laughs> Hmm? Abdul argued that Allah did not inf inf interfere in corruption of the Bible. No, you, how that can happen? You just see it says everything by permission of Allah. Everything, everything, everything by permission of Allah. So what do you mean they don't inter intervene? Secondly, this is his book. And the Quran says no one can change the word of Allah. No one. He did not say the Quran. He says no one can change the word of Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 10, verse number 64. And actually, chapter 6, verse number 34 is speaking about previous messengers, not about Muhammad. And he mentioned that those messengers who've been accused of lies, nobody can change their words. You see, they reject those messengers who came before thee, they accused him of lies, they accused him of wrong, until our aid reached them, and there is none can alter the word of God. The Muslim themselves, in the translation, they are trying to help me, they put the degree the decree of Allah. Do you see it? <laughs> oh boy. The same thing, you know, uh, potato. I mean, you see what uh, this Abdul, he's searching Google for verses about destiny in the Bible. And the funny is that the Muslim now they are quoting Paul. That is mean, even make it more funny. So suddenly the Abdul, he believed in Paul. But if we go to the verses you quote for us, people will laugh at you. Literally. Shall we go there? <laughs> Let us go and see how the Abdul, he function. You know, the Abdul, they have their own way to function things, to make things happen. So if we go to chapter 4, verse number 28, but always remember, when Abdul, he reads something for you, don't let the Abdul read it for you. You read it yourself. And then you will see that the same chapter he is quoting for us is his enemy. His enemy is there. Let us do this. How embarrassing. And you know, remember that the Bible is a book and the Christian, they agree in a book, not in a two words, which means you cannot take a word and say, oh, this they believe in two words. And this is what we prove here, that the Muslim's fraud is endless. 
So if we go to Act chapter 4, verse number 28, you will see the following. Uh, are you sure from what you are posting? Abdul. Okay, let us go. Did he say chapter uh, Act 4? Did he say uh, Act 4? He said Act 4, right? Hmm. Let me show what he said to us in the chat. Let me copy it, actually. Yeah, this is what you have. You have uh, your search in the... In the you search this. What this? What those must have do? They do. They say the they search destiny in the Bible. So this is why he's saying to you, I have sixty-four verses more. <laughs> but if you read them carefully, you will see not zero of them is about predestiny. The destiny we are talking about in Christianity, that God he have a plan, and this is what he is actually quoting for us exactly from the internet, verse after verse. God has a plan. God has a plan. God had work to accomplish, to achieve. Uh, God perfect plan. Walk into your destiny. Do you see the word destiny? But if we go and read, we will see that the destiny we are talking about, that whoever believe in me, and die he will live the destiny of Adam if you eat from this tree you shall die that is a destiny but God did not write the sin of mankind so what you are talking about you potato is a plan where either you go to heaven or you go to hell so if we go here So you can quote all the, the 60 verses you have, and we will laugh at you, for all of them they confirm the same thing. From the fruit of the tree, in the midst of the garden, God said, you shall not eat it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. This is destiny. But destiny in what? Destiny not of doing the act. God did not decide for you to touch it. God said to you, don't touch it. In Islam, God decided to Adam to touch it and to eat it. Do you see why we are looking at you? So when you quote the same word in the Bible, it have different meaning. In Islam, it is your fruit. But it is Allah plan, which means you did not do it. It was Allah who did it. So if look, just to make it very easy to understand, this is the story of Adam in the Bible. Did God of the Christians made Adam commit sin? No. Adam, he chose to touch it, to eat it. If we go to, the, to Muhammad's story, we will find the following. Let us see here, which one? Here we go. Adam, he is saying to Allah, or sorry to Moses, are you playing me? Do you play me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me. So the foolish Muhammadan, he go and search for the word destiny in the translation. We found the word destiny. God, he have a plan for us. God, he planned for us. Yes, this is the plan. We, we, we know that there is, there is a destiny of death. Every human being shall die. It's a plan of God. 
everyone who believe in me and I will live. This is the order of God. There is a reward. You believe in me. Your destiny will be, you will be in heaven. But you have a choice here. It's not a destiny I wrote for you to believe. It's a destiny I wrote for you as a reward or a penalty. So you are a stupid like your prophet. You do not know even what we are talking about. There's a huge difference between I write for you what you will say and what you will do. And then I will punish you for what you said or what you would do or even reward you. Or I say to you, be good. And if you are good, you will go to heaven. And if you are bad, you will go to hell. There's a huge difference. So here we have a stupid God. Didn't Allah say to Adam, don't touch it? Okay, hold on, guys. This Abdul is being smart. He just gave a finger to his prophet. Big finger. I cannot believe even that you just said that. Are you sure you are not working for a Christian prince? Because your statement sounds like you are. So look at look what happened. He just said, Amitab, I think he's Indonesian maybe. Didn't Allah, he says to Adam, don't touch it. Stop lying, bro. You are exposed. So you just said that your prophet is a liar. Because you stupid idiot, it's not me who is saying this hadith. <laughs> Guys, do you see the stupidity? He just gave a big finger to Muhammad. It's not me who said that. It's in the front of you, you donkey. This is your prophet. And your prophet, he shake his head and he agree and he reported three times that Adam, he won the argument. Bro. So, Shall I make you an admin now in my chat? Because you deserve to be an admin. You are priceless. This guy, he got his prophet busted. Stop lying. This is not my word. This is your word. So the story of the Quran is a lie. Because if Allah, he said to Adam, don't touch it. And then we find that Adam have to touch it because it's a destiny. So Allah is being an actor. Allah is acting. He's saying to Adam, don't touch it, okay? And then he go to the computer. He program Adam. Hmm? And he say, Adam, in the day of etc., in the moment of etc., he will eat from the tree. It's a decree. Do you see it? So who is the stupid here? Are you there? <laughs> and not only it's a destiny the coward Muhammad one hadith he say it's 50,000 years before he created us in different hadith he says 40, 000, 40 years and look is that weak hadith it says sahih sahih brother because now I will, you will say to me it is weak it's not authentic it's daif it is hummus, it's falafel, Islam is weak, the Prophet is weak, Allah is weak. I am arguing as an atheist, how is that? Look at the stupidity, the other person, the Christian prince is arguing as an atheist. What does that have to do with atheist? I'm asking you, how does God, he wrote Adam sin. Adam, he have to commit this sin, and then this God, Telling Adam, and this is what your brother he said, don't eat from the tree. Let us go to the strip of Quran so everybody can take a bite of this silly cult. Is that your book or this is my book? You're talking like an atheist now. Huh? Your God, he is copying exactly what the Bible say. Look, look, all those verse. Hmm?
Do you see it? So your stupid God, he is saying to Adam, don't eat from the tree. But in the same time, Allah is lying to Adam. For he made him do it as a decree, as a destiny. It was not a choice. Do you see it? All those verses are saying the same. Your Bible says that your God write everything down. He all knowing you believe in a free will. Show me the verses so we can love together. Go ahead, Tarek. Guys, God, he wrote everything down. He is all knowing. And you talk about the free will. Well, Tarek, I will, you know, you will get a reward. I will, I will give you extra boobs in heaven from Allah if you can prove what you are saying. Go ahead. Give me the verse. It says that God, he wrote for you to do sin. He made you commit sin. He made Adam commit sin. Go ahead. And you know what? Even if what you say is true, which is false, that will not make you save your God from being stupid. A second ago, you, you were saying, I am arguing as an atheist. How you answer an atheist? He show you that Allah, he have a plan to Adam to commit sin. And then Allah want to punish Adam for committing sin. <laughs> so all this story here is an act. When Allah, he says to Adam, don't eat from the tree. It was a joke. Because Allah, he ordered them in his decree to eat it. And they can't escape it. Do you see it? So the Muslim, they have foolish answer. And look, any tab, he disappeared. What happened to him? Open your Skype, your light. Allah did not forbid Adam to approach the tree. The verse in the front of you, you idiot. Do you know how to read? <laughs> Open your Skype. God did not you know, order Adam not to approach the tree. So what we are showing the screen. Uh, you lied saying that Allah did not forbid Adam from approaching the tree. I'm saying the opposite, you donkey. You know what? Just let me, let me, let me just get lost. This is what I said. I said the opposite. I said, Allah, he ordered Adam not to eat from the tree. Yet it is a decree from Allah to eat from the tree. I mean, what kind of a brain you have? And I'm showing you the reference in the front of your eyes. Your God, he ordered Adam not to eat from the tree. But when Moses he spoke to Adam, he says to him, because of you, you idiot Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. So Moses, he believed the story in the Quran. Moses, he took the, your God seriously. Moses, he came to Adam, he says, because of you, Adam, we are out of paradise. Adam said to Moses, you stupid idiot, this is not a true. Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? So you stupid. You have a little brain like a mosquito. You are like a bug all over the screen. And you are jumping like a monkey, but you could not answer anything. You are just giving a finger to your God. Adam and Moses now they are fighting. Moses, he is a Christian, obviously. He believed in original sin. So he said to Adam, because of you, Adam, we are out of heaven. Adam, he said to Moses, you stupid. Do you blame me? Do you see the word? This is your, this is your prophet talking. Do you blame me? Which means we cannot blame Adam for anything. Why Adam, he have no responsibility? Because simply it was a decree. 
and then he will jump. You lied. You lied. You said he did not touch the tree. You lied. You lied. Do you want to make us a song? A monkey like your prophet. Jump. I'm saying the opposite, you donkey. I'm saying in a Christianity, God, he said, don't touch the tree. You said to me, well, the Quran said the same. I said, that's wonderful. That's mean your prophet is a fraud. He contradict himself. If the Quran saying don't touch the tree and Muhammad saying that Adam, he had a job to do, a decree, he cannot change it. Then a story in the Quran is a fraud, is a joke. Because what the point of Allah saying to Adam, don't eat from the tree when he decreed for him already to eat from the tree. No, no, we are not using Skype no more. I will take calls only when I go with the eCam. The eCam, you can call me with the program. It's better. So in normal, pro, like now, uh, unless like we decide in advance to take calls, is you know if you have if you have somebody is serious i mean somebody is real this guy is obviously is a kid so as you see in the quran says don't eat from the tree moses he did read the quran obviously don't eat from the tree adam he ate from the tree and look how stupid even the founder of islam it says in the verse that shaitan is the one who deceived adam Right? If you go to the Quran, it says Adam, he was deceived who? By who? By Shaitan. People, does it say that? Chapter 7, verse number 20. So the verse before it, it says, don't approach the tree. Wonderful. Who is the one who deceived them? People, who is the one who deceived them? Shaitan, right? Shaitan. But the hadith says that it was a decree of Allah. That means Shaitan is a good person. Adam is a good person. Eve is a good person. And Allah is Shaitan. Why? Because it's Allah who made Shaitan go to Adam, speak to him, whisper into him to bring him into sin. It was Allah who sent shaitan. Actually, there's other verses in the Quran confirm that. Look what the Quran says. Allah, he made shaitan deceived. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Satan said, since you have led me astray, I shall surely sit and ambush them in every straight path. Who is the Satan? Who is the first Satan? The one who led astray Satan. Do we agree? Who is the first one who led people astray or even Satan himself? Satan himself is a victim of the devil Allah. So Satan is a victim. And the victim, Shaitan, now he want to seek revenge. Since you mislead me, you deceive me, and even the word is awaitani, is even more ugly than deceive me. Chapter 15, verse number 39, it says the same. You led me to error. This is the Muslim translation. Guys, do you see it? Who is the one who led Shaitan to error, to make him Shaitan? Can a Muslim give me the answer? This is your book. This is not the Christian book. Chapter 15, verse number 39. Who is the one who led Shaitan to be a bad person? Who is a Muslim have the courage to sell, to tell us the answer? Who is the one who led Shaitan? Uh, 
Are you there to debate Abdul Samud? My friend, do your God himself dare to debate with me? Who is Abdul Samud? The guy who take $5,000 for a speech? He's a fraud like your prophet. The Quran says that Muhammad will not accept to talk to anyone privately unless you pay him for private consultation. I do for free. I stay here for hours and hours. And I don't charge people. I don't even talk about the money. So you, your prophet, your Abdul, your scholars, your God, it's just a scam. They want your money. And this is your prophet. Muhammad, he said. If you, Allah, he said, sorry. If you want to meet the prophet, in private consultation. Do you know how many times I speak to Muslims almost almost every day? For free. And I don't even talk about it. If you want to talk to the Prophet for free, in a private consultation, give, uh, give him something. Pay him something, brother. So my friend, bring your Abdul Samud and I will make him shish kebab if he dare even to say hello. Do he dare? And actually I made many videos challenging all the Abdul to come and debate me. Where are they? Or what we got bunch of kids. Oh, who you believe when you consult the messenger in private, spend something. Hey people, before you enter my program, spend something. I go live. I go offline. I don't talk about donation. And I don't make it a must to come. And Muslim call me for free. I answer for free. I stay here for hours for free. I stay the whole day for free. In the last 24 hours, guys, how many hours I did online? Did I ask you to pay me? I come here regardless what people want to do. I am here because I'm a believer. You're a prophet, he claimed to be a prophet. Yet he will not speak to you in a private consultation unless you pay him first. This is God teaching. Consultation? So don't tell me, do you dare to debate this guy and that guy? Your guy is Betito, the only Muslim from Indonesia who spoke to me. He called himself Ustad. He did not even dare to call me. He did not allow me to call him because he's a coward. His name is uh, Sheikh what? Insan? In Ustad Insan. Christian Prince, I have a question for you. If you can answer it, you get 5 BMW. Question number one. Show me one verse in the Bible that Jesus Christ, he said, I'm a Christian. I mean, this is your smart one. He want me to show him a verse. Jesus saying he's a Christian, you stupid idiot. How Jesus would say he's a Christian? If this is a smart ustaz of you, how about the donkey one? This is the smart one of you. Christian prince, I challenge you. And what? Five BMW? Can you make one Toyota and one is Honda and one is... I mean, why five BMW? They are expensive, man, to fix them. Do you know how much it costs to change the, to, to, the oil? I'm not a fan of them. Can we exchange them? Can, can you give me a Cobon? And what is the challenge? Can you prove to me that Jesus is God? What the, guys, what's the name of this guy? I forgot his name so let us let us search his name and see his video for for like to for the memory of him he died he challenged me and he died after he challenged me Allah he took him to heaven brother Ustaz in the sun uh, Ustaz and the sun hold on in the sun in sun in sun sorry in sun why are calling himself insan? Insan means a human. What the heck is that? What kind of name is that?
Hold on. And the poor guy, he have heart attack because of my answers. Christian Prince. Christian Prince. I mean, you, you die laughing when you hear those people. And they are very convincing, by the way. I mean, they are super intelligent. I, I don't know, for some reason, the second you, you, you know, you, you join this religion, you lose your mind and you lose your intellect. And look, half of his video is advertising for money. Friends. Is grand prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give you a, the BMW car as a reward if you can answer every question as follows. Mm. First, uh -huh. show me the verse in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> I mean, what, what the heck is that? What the heck? Show me a verse in the Bible that Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> no comment. Christian Prince, show me the verse in the Bible. It shows that Jesus is a Christian. I would give you five BMW. Like, what the heck? And this is the first question. What is the second question? You won't find any. Are you sure? <laughs> it's because the name of Christian uh -huh. emerged for the first time in Antioch long after Jesus died. Ooh. And those who gave a name of Christian were Barnabas and Paul. The stupid idiot. So Allah, he called the Christian Christian. He learned from Barnabas and Paul. <laughs> it turned to be that Allah, when he learned that our name is a Christian, he took it from Paul. I mean, do you see even Paul is educating Allah? How Allah, he got the name a Christian too. If Paul is the one who called us Christian, why the stupid Allah is taking the name of a Christian from Paul? I mean, where those people are coming from? You see, you see, like, sometimes you wonder, I mean, this God, he created this guy? Yes, God, he created this guy. I think God, he created those people for a reason, to show you the difference between stupid and intelligent. I don't see any other purpose. Did this guy forget that his Quran says the Christians? So if this is name coming from Paul, his God, he used the same name. That's mean Allah, he's learning about us from Paul. I know, I know he's already dead. He, did, he died because of the heart attack I gave him. Did you watch my videos? He became the joke of every Muslim in Indonesia. And look at the title. Christian Prince Debate Hadith. Five unit mobile BMW Dari Ustaz Insan Maga uh, Monko Monko Jinta. I like Monko Jinta. You know what? All my life I wanted to have Monko Jinta. What Monko Jinta mean? Anybody knows what monka jinta mean? What monka jinta? Is that like a monkey something? Is that his name, last name? Is it part of the last name or? 
Oh, this is his last name. Oh, I thought it's a word means something. Okay. Forget it then. I thought he is challenging me with Monka Jetta or something. Like I give you Monka Jetta uh, in the top of the BMW. And you know, five BMW, look how generous they are. Like every five questions, five BMW. Guys, do you know how rich I am now? Each Muslim, I get him busted. I get a BMW. Okay, I get it. So his right name is Mo Moko Jinta. What Moko Jinta mean? By the way, I love this. I really like the, the especially the Quran in the Indonesian language. It's fun. I mean, this guy, he have a lot of questions and nobody can answer, brother. They are so powerful. 26. Christian Prince. Hmm. If you find in the Bible that Jesus is a Christian and you serious BMW will be yours. I mean, do you see my luck? This is what happened to my friend. He had a very bad luck. We were invited to an airline party and everyone will attend. He will win an airline ticket with vacation. Everyone, it's a must. The guy, he said to me, I will not go. I know my luck. Come on. I said, listen, they said everyone who attend, he will get an airline. Doesn't matter. That's not about luck. There's no luck here. Zero, zero luck option because you will get an airline ticket. It's a promise. Just attend. The guy, he agreed to go. And guess what? He was right. He got an airline ticket to Afghanistan. The one who got airline ticket to Hawaii, the other one he get to Honolulu, Bululu, the other guy he went to to Rome. That and my friend, he called his name. He was so happy. Finally, it's happening. Oh, I get an airline ticket. I can't believe you. Thank you for inviting me. He went. He grabbed the ticket. He got a ticket for Afghanistan. By the way, this is a false story. I just a joke. I made it because now they will say Sahir Bukhari, Hadith number Christian Prince. He said Sahir Bukhari. Blah 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 blah. This is a true story. It's my you know. <laughs> so this is the luck this is my luck he asked me a question to win a BMW if I can find him a verse saying that Christ is a Christian shall we do the same and ask you to find us Muhammad is a Muhammadan <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ustaz Insan can you find me one verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad is Muhammadan. Oh, don't remind me about this. In the in the Indonesian Quran, everything ends with N. Anything. You name it. If you click here to Indonesian language, that's why I like it, actually. I want to go to Indonesia, but, you know, like I will find, like, maybe a million Indonesian Muslims waiting for me in the airport. Takbir, Christian Prince is here. What is the Indonesian language? Indonesian, okay. Bahasa. Look. Are you orange, orange? But wherever you go, you see orange, orange. Unbelievable. I mean, the Indonesian people, for sure, they love orange a lot. So, orange, orange, Abi, Abi, Bayalal, Kalamu, Man, God, God, Canaan. See, I told you, it end with an. In the sand, an an. Okay. Brima ki kararan. Rahisa jaga laha kamu member karakan. Kan. Tata ang. Member boot dusa dusa harahut. Dan barakut karaku rasul kabadadut. Dan. Barkisha, Shakuta, Tantang, Merbar, Bambakajan, Danta, Waktakwawa, Shishu, Hawawa, Shiwawa. Guys, be honest with me. Isn't it my Indonesian is perfect? Actually, I've been offered, this is between us, by the way, uh, some Indonesian friends here, as you know, they are admins here. They offer me a job to teach Indonesian language in the highest school in Indonesia. Hmm? And because my knowledge is so good in the language, you know, 
I told them if I teach there, they have to agree. I have to add new words. <laughs> I cannot just teach a language like this. I have to create a new words. As an example, donkey, potato, stupid, hummus. Those have to be added if I'm going to teach the Quran. It's a must. And not to forget, are you sure? If they agree, we we'll go for it. Prophet M, what, what, what are you saying to me in Indonesia? Are you calling me names now? Do you think I don't speak Indonesian? Huh? I am like Al Hussein. I speak seventy million languages. I don't like to talk about myself much because I'm very humble. Guys, do you remember what yesterday we were talking about? Who remember yesterday? What is the name of uh, Ali? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy <laughs> actually I would like to learn guys if I if I learn Indonesian and I open a channel in Indonesian language I am sure my channel would have a million subscribers in less than a month if you go to channels in Indonesian language, post in my videos, you will see the video have a million, a million and a half, 900,000, 700,000. Oh, oh boy, I should learn it. I need to find a teacher to teach me. And did I say I need to find a teacher to teach me? I did not talk about, I'm not talking about teach me Indonesian, by the way. No, 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 no. You get me wrong. I was talking about learning a language nobody speaks in Indonesia. Okay, Indonesian I speak very well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I speak Russian. Sure, I speak Russian. It's very it's easy, you know. Olga from Russia. That is Russian. Just like make it a r, r that would make you Russian. You know? Uh, do you speak Dutch? I Dutch all Muslims here. Just ask any Muslim. Any Muslim, he'd come here, I Dutch him. And you are telling me, do you speak Dutch? It's my job. It's what I do. What's wrong with people? He come here, I Dutch him. He come here, I Dutch him. That's it. In the, in the speed of light. Kak Osaha Kisini CP Banyak Yang Inser Ranti. Now look, listen. Sarja, I can take anything from you. But to say to me, Ranti, that is not right. You are saying to me, Ranti. I mean, come on. I'm really disappointed from you. Ranti? What in the world? Should I tell your family what you just said to me? Shall I tell your friends what you just did? You know what? If you don't want me to tell everybody in YouTube and Instagram and the internet what you just said to me, you better contact me in private. Okay? Look what he said to me. Gag osa kisini. CP. Now CP, uh, let me translate for you CP. Okay? CP, like, you know, if you study science, you know, like because this is this is my this is my field. You know, like you know, CP. Uh, by the way, the rest I'm not going to translate because they are very easy to understand. You know, forget about Gak Osa Hisini Benyak Young Inkar Nanati. Those are easy to understand. So I'm going to focus now to explain to you and translate for you the most hard part to uh, explain, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, CP. Uh, CP means Christian Prince, and thank you for understanding. It was very hard to just uh, translate, but I did it. So this guy is saying to you, okay, you know, okay, Gak, Osaha, Kan, Sini, CP, Banyak, Young, uh, I'm young. I mean, I agree with you on this one. My mom is 17, actually. Means uh, it does mean it does not come here CP so many will target you 
This is what it mean. That is even better. I love people to target me. It's for fun. Imagine you live and nobody target you. <laughs> How boring. <laughs> My friend, if you think I'm worried about people targeting me, oh, you mean in Indonesia, right? Uh, no, I'm not going to go to Indonesia. No, no. Uh, thank you for warning me. You know, if I go to Indonesia, I will, uh, I will say a secret sentence before I enter the, you know, like the, the one you say before you enter the bathroom, the prophet, he said, you say the prayer, supplication, and then you will become invisible. What do you, what, what do you think about that? And then I come to your house to visit you. Hmm? But I will be invisible. You will not see me. You will see the, like the, I will eat with you. You will see that the, uh, the fork coming up in the sky and like the, your fish is gone in my mouth. Don't be upset. I'm just eating. I'm invisible. Okay. Prophet say so. Uh, the Huri will target me. That is another worry. <clears throat> the Huris are actually more scary than the terrorist. Imagine you go somewhere and there's like 40, 50 women, they are targeting you and they are chasing you. That what will happen to you if, like, you remember the hadith about the birds? Who remember it? When the Muslim, they say to Allah, for the sake of Allah, please just make us a human being again and send us. We don't want to be buried no more. Uh, if you remember the hadith we mentioned yesterday, Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Look at this, brother. Isn't it beautiful? You pray to Allah, you fast, you kill, you do jihad, you call names, and then Allah, He will make you a green bird. Brother, isn't this the dream of every one of us? Just be honest. I know, I know, because you are a Christian, you cannot be honest. Especially you don't practice taqiyya. If you practice taqiyya, brother, you will be honest. <laughs> Even the word honest, the Muslim, they have the, they have the same words we use, but they have totally mean different meaning. The Muslim believe that Muslim we should not lie. But then you can lie to Christians, you can lie to your wife, you can lie to your friends, you can lie to your enemy, you can lie, you can lie, you can lie, you can, but brother, you cannot lie. Allah, He hates those who lie. What happened with this hadith? I can't find it. Hold on. I'm trying to search for it. For some reason, I want to find you the full story or the big story. For some reason, this stupid thing. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So here now, See all those hadiths speaking about and here Allah he will ask the, the Mujahideen who die for the sake of Allah he will ask them a question three times you see Allah see this funny religion they speak that they are not they are against Trinity but everything in this religion is a Trinity the God when he speak he asks question three times Muhammad he repeat even assalamu alaikum have you ever heard of somebody saying assalamu alaikum three times? I will give Muslim five BMW if he can tell me why you're a prophet. He have to repeat the answer, the question, sorry, assalamu alaikum three times. Or a sentence three times. Like if you see here, Allah, he asked, 
the murderer who became birds. He asked them a question three times, and each time they answered him the same answer. And then they said to him, because Allah will not leave them alone, he keep asking him the same question. Look with me. It says, he asked them that question three times. And when they see that they will not be left alone without asking the same thing, they tell their Lord, they wish to go back. I want to go back. Please, Allah, I want to go back. Just let me go back, you know. Just leave us alone, Allah. You know. When you see our stupid story, this God, they answer, they, he asked the question. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. And then they find out that this God will not stop. He's like a dog. Ho, 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 ho. So they say to Allah, please, please, Allah, please, we want to go back. But they say, Allah, we just, we just, we just, we go back, okay? They say to him, look what it says. This is what it says in front of you. And when they see that they will not be left alone, I mean, what kind of a believer he wants God to leave him alone? So when they notice that Allah will not leave them alone without asking something, what an idiot! Like a talking machine. Like, do you, do you like uh, do you like high candies? Yeah, like, come on, just shut up. Okay, do you like uh, uh, video game? Come, Allah, come on! I'm right now doing yoga with Sad Guru. His name is Sad, and he is Guru, and he is teaching you how to be happy. I mean, you, you get the point. You get the point there. You know the thing, Sad Guru. Like, what the heck? So if you join Sad Guru, you will learn how to be happy in life doing yoga. Go change your name first. Like make it Happy Guru, Junkie Guru, Smart Guru, but Sad Guru. And you want to teach me how to be happy. I mean, this is Allah himself. So the sad Allah, he keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep repeating the same question. And the Muslim Abdul, they find out that Allah, he will never leave him alone. So then they start crying, saying, please Allah, let us, just let us return to our body, please. We want to leave, just leave. We don't want to be in heaven no more. Just leave us alone. Because in heaven, by the way, there's no cotton to put it in your ears. So you can't avoid Allah. I mean, that's it. You put cotton, you put your shoes in your ears. Still, Allah, because his voice is powerful, you know, it's Allah. Are you kidding me? Allah, do you know how, how strong the voice of Allah is? Huh? What the heck was this? Sad Guru. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? You want to grow me in your backyard? Mm. I hope your wife is not there. Because the same story of Adam and Christian Prince will be uh, a Christian Prince and Eve will be repeated. And you will be watching us from the video, from the from the window. I wish I can grow you in the backyard. You are so cute. Okay, you got a the point there. Just be sure that your wife is not there for safety. Uh, would echo? Yeah, actually, you know, in the old days, I don't know if the Muslims did still do that. Actually, yeah, you remember Mimi Hijab when he recited the Quran to uh, what is his name? Borat? Not Borat, not Borat, hold on. To uh, Patterson, Patterson. Then Mimi Hijab, he read editing, he did editing to the video. And he had an echo. The Muslim they love echo. They, they think if they that they uh, they had echo to the words that will make it holy. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Him. 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 Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alamin. Him. 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 Asaytan Rajim. Him. 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 Hello, 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 ween, 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 ween. How are you doing, Mr. Bean, 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 Bean? <laughs> the religion of the echo. 
Riley Hunt, it's truly an honor to be in your life. You are welcome, my friend. But be patient with me. If I make a, a statement of your comment and you don't like it, don't be upset, okay? I'm just joking, okay? I mean, what I can do? <laughs> Allah made me like that, brother. Allah made me like you. He says the Muslim, he say, Allah made me like that. Are you, are you sure? You know, hey Muslims, did Allah made Muhammad stupid or it was an accident? I mean, after that. Hmm? Like when Muhammad, he said, if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Was that because he was born smart or because later he becomes so smart? Hmm? I mean, that's deep. What the heck? You know, I was worried that if I get married ever, my son will look like me, which is really bad, very, very bad. You have no idea. But now, with the knowledge of the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, I know how to avoid such a disaster from happening again. Simply, I will never come first. I will let my wife come first. Look at the genius. How the Prophet he knew this? Hmm? And by the way, now all of you, you know what happened in the bedroom between your mother and your father. So in case you are a female, you know that your mother, she did it first. <laughs> go tell her, go tell her. And if you don't do that at home, disclaimer, don't do this at home. I'm just joking. And if you are a boy, now you know that it was your dad who screamed first. Unbelievable. Look, this, you see the knowledge, but the knowledge is powerful. Now we know what happened in the bedroom, yet we are not there. <laughs> we are not even exist yet. <laughs> how, how this, this is this is genius. This is genius. So they, then, how the child resemble her? Huh? Come on. How the child the child resemble her? Isn't it obvious? Hey Tarek, what's how are you doing, Mr. Tarek? Is CB is it allowed to know how old are you? For sure, my friend, I was born long, long time ago. Uh, do you have time? Sit down. I will tell you. You know, once upon the time, actually, let me do this. I will go in the front of your eyes and I will type here once upon the time what we will find here hold on Which show me on in this story, let us do it differently. Once upon the time, there was a group of people who took the sea in the sea, they arrived to an island. I mean, if you read the story here, by the way, you would die laughing. But I will skip this part. Uh, look. They took the ocean. And the ocean tossed them. The ship have 30 men. 30 men, they have sailed in the ship. There was a storm, and the storm tore them by the wave in the ocean for a month. And then these waves took them near an island within the ocean. 
island at that time of the sunset. Don't ask me what does that mean. Allah knows best. They sat in a small side boat and entered that island. There was a beast with long, thick hair. And because of this, they could not distinguish his face. Now look, the story is a true story. The beast is covered by hair. He is very hairy. Okay? And this is where the name of Hari Butar coming from. <laughs> Harry Butar. Listen carefully. Harry Butar. Okay? Butar is the one who carry things next to the port. This guy is in the beast. He is in the port, in the island. Hello? And he is very hairy. Harry Butar. So, they could not distinguish his face. We cannot even distinguish his face from his ass. He's covered by hair everywhere. From his back, look at this. They cannot even recognize where is the face, where is the back. They said, We to you. Who can you be? I mean, somebody speaking to the beast. And how you know that the beast, he speak Arabic, huh? That's a good story. So you speak to the beast in Arabic? You must be an Arab beast. I mean, it's obvious. They are Arab. They are saying to him, Oh, you be, who could you be? You know, I'm so glad that Joe Biden was not there. Joe Biden, he will approach the beast differently. He will say to him, listen to me. We are created by the thing. You know the thing? You know? And that will be like easier, like to understand. I mean, more, I mean, the language is nicer. Diplomatic, more diplomatic. And then it says here, Thereupon it said, I am Al Jassas. They said, What the heck? Al Jassasa? And it said, O oh people, go to this person in the monastery. There's a monastery in the island. Take a note. There's where? The what? There's a monastery where? In the island. True story. I saw many of them in the islands all over, you know? Okay. And as he very much eager to know about you, look like this beast has a like Wi-Fi, you know, like a walkie-talkie, you know, like the one you talk with it. So, because how, how this beast knew that the one in the monastery, he would like to, to know about them. What the heck? So go to the monastery as he is very much eager to know about you. Then he, the narrator, said, when it's named a person for us, we were afraid. It's last, it should be the devil, a devil. Then we hardly went till we came to the monastery. Now imagine in the background, a sound of noise, a sound of horror. Ooh, 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 what the heck is that, man? I mean, things happened, brother. Things really happened. Man, man, man. And they when they arrived to the monastery. Things got more complicated. I'm telling you, it got more complicated. When they arrived to the monastery, they found a well-built person. He's like me. Look, man. There with his hands tied to his neck. How this guy, he lived. Who tied him there? 
I want to know. Free Mr. Beast. Free Mr. Beast. He's, he's very well built. And person there is with his hand tied to his neck and moving iron shackles between his two legs. Oh man, that will hurt. Never do put anything between the legs of somebody. I'm telling you, this is not nice. Put yourself in his shoes. And up the angles. We said we be upon you. Were we? Are we? Do you say that? Who are you? Look at the question. Serious. Tariq, are you there? Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a video. My coming video is about going to be Gog and Magog. And we will die laughing. And you will see that every single Muslim will leave Islam after he watch it, if he is, he have little decency. What do you think, guys? Should we make the coming video about Gog and Magog? Let us vote, by the way. If you agree to do video about Gog and Magog, give me one. If you agree about doing a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Nobody's voting. What's wrong with those people? Are they Arab? Arab don't vote. Or maybe take them time to hear my voice. So if you agree to make a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, if you disagree to do a video about Gog and Magog, give me one too. <laughs> How in the world? This is very smart. So now if you disagree about doing a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Okay, so now we did count the numbers of the ones. And as long both of you agree to disagree, because you agree to do the video and disagree to the video, all of you give me one. Therefore, I will make the video and I will not make the video. Like 50 50. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a voting system better than this? It's like the voting system in America, my friend. A guy is dead, he can vote, you know. Welcome to America, you know. An immigrant guy, his name is uh, Alejandro. He's never been in the country. He don't have a paper. He don't have citizenship. He can vote too. I mean, that's amazing. America, America, brother. Uh, uh, Democrat, Democrat, they are very smart. Oh, boy. Oh, it's already printed. <laughs> Look, look what uh, uh, Jovan, look what Jovan, he said. <laughs> That's a good one, man. Look, he said, it's already breathed determined. Man, that's the, what the heck? <laughs> He's right. The Muslim believe everything is a, it's a predestiny. So why, what vote for, you know? <laughs> Even when you vote, Allah, he wrote your vote. So Allah, he made Adam win. Sorry, uh, Biden win. He made uh, Trump lose. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Tarek, this is a fake love. Uh, okay, uh, Tarek, I'm going to do something just for you. Special trick. Guys, Mr. Tarek, he hurt my feeling. I don't like it when somebody hurt my feeling. Uh, to be honest with you. Tarek, it's time to face reality. This is a fake love. Read with me. And I challenge you. To describe this love for me. Brother, the Prophet of Allah, he ordered a Muslim woman to give her boobs so a growing man can suckle her. Aisha, 
she ordered her sisters not nobody can enter upon her unless they suckle their boobs <laughs> this is a fake love brother <laughs> and not only that the prophet when he ordered um uh, 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 sahla bintu suhail to suckle the prophet he laughed until his teeth came out read with me brother the woman she said to him how can i suckle him and he is a growing man allah messenger smiled he said already i know he is a growing man not oh, not young man translation and actually in arabic it says he laughed until his teeth came out not smiled as the translation says Is that a fake laugh? A woman, she is asking a prophet, how in the world I am going to suckle a man? He is a growing man from my breast. What is the, the, the answer of your prophet? He laughed. So Tariq, Was your prophet laughing at you, Muslims? Was he laughing at Allah? Or he was laughing at your stupidity to believe in him? All of this is Sahih, as you see. So what do you think? Was it a fake laugh? This is Aisha, she ordered her sisters. Not nobody can come upon her unless she's, he suckled from her sisters. Read. She ordered her sisters, Umm Kalthum, bin to Abi Bakr, as Siddiq, and the daughters of her brothers. And here the first translation says to give milk. In Arabic it says to do breastfeeding. Do you see it? Brother? Are you laughing right now? Islam is a very decent religion. Women, they wear burqa, but they give their boobs. Hmm. Uh, let us see. Let us talk about fake love. Look at your God, Prophet Muhammad. When he laughs, he keep laughing until her teeth come out of his mouth. Do you see it? Hmm? This is your prophet was laughing at you. Look at this. They are saying to him, and Muhammad he agree, and he is happy, excited, that Allah he hold the sky in a finger. This is the hate in Arabic. And the two earth in finger, by the way, there's two earth or one earth. And the whole creation upon one finger. And he will say, I am the king. I am the king. The narrator said, I saw Allah messenger smiling until his front teeth became visible. And then he recited the verse and they measure not the power of Allah. So Muhammad, he loved what he heard. Allah will carry the earth in a finger, the heaven in a finger, 
and all the creature in a finger. And Tarek, can you tell me which finger you will be carried on? I hope it's not the middle finger. Are you laughing, Tarek? Do you know which finger Allah will put you on? Now don't tell me I'm laughing. This is serious. This is your prophet talking. This is Islam. Uh, anyway, did we have a good time, guys, today? By the way, there's a video uh, which, uh, you know, I told you I'm going to cut off. You remember? Uh, it's going to be... Uh, uh, it should be ready by now. You know, YouTube, it takes forever to recut a video or to make it ready. It says the processing. Can you believe it? The video is called Live Debate What Allah uh, made uh, 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 is Made Of. Until now, this is for more than two days now. YouTube did not finish the processing. Look, let me show you. I thought um, but I will go now and I will make it available for you. Because we have many hours have nothing to do with the topic. So I decided to cut it. Now it says it's processing. So let us hope by tomorrow. We hope we will make it available again. So you guys can download it and you can have it. And uh, when we decide to go and have calls, most of them they can call me when they see that I'm using Ecamm program. When I'm using this one, I will not take calls because I don't want to use Skype no more. Skype became too much headache. A million texts coming to me from the middle of nowhere and there's nowhere to control this program, you know. Uh, but in this Ecamm, one person at a time, nobody can add me, nobody can bother me, nobody can even, even text me. Either I accept your call, and not only that, it make one ring, which is very good. So I will use it for taking calls. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, Google is a huge uh, company. Imagine how many, how many million videos is loaded every day in their server. Actually, I don't know how 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 big those servers take to handle all of this. Do you know how much bandwidth it takes to do live broadcast? It's not easy. So all, I mean, there's I don't know how many million right now as we speak, they are doing live broadcast. That is not easy. And we are glad actually to have their service. Even we don't like their customer service. But YouTube is the best when it's come to do what we are doing. Live broadcast, it's for free. And you can go up to eight hours you know in the broadcast like this i mean it's fantastic the sound is good the audio is good right before i used to go to a chat room in order to speak what i want to say now we have it recorded already you can download it you can share it i mean it's very way way better than before you guys are blessed with the technology you have today not long time ago all of this was not exist. Tariq is a biblical scholar. Uh, okay. But he is not a Quran scholar. Hey, Tariq, let me send you to the uh, the biblical school then. Here we go. I give you a hide. As long as you are a biblical scholar, you became a threat for me. Now. Your knowledge is so good, brother. Tariq is a biblical scholar, brother. Hey, Tariq, don't forget to make a book. Tell us how Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. So your God I wake up in the morning, he says, oh, today the Jews are going to kill Jesus. So I'm going to make Jesus look like Jesus. So when the Jews, they came to Jesus, they found two Jesus. One of them is the real Jesus and the other one is not fake Jesus. Then the Jews, they said to himself, oh, which one is the real Jesus? Then the fake Jesus said to the Jews, I'm the real Jesus. They said to him, how you can prove that? He said, I will prove to you. I have the passcode by word for the computer. He said in the computer, it says the username Jesus. He put the password and he passed. And then the other real Jesus, they make him sit in the computer. And they said to him, put your password. The real Jesus, he put the wrong password. So the Jews, the Jews they captured the real Jesus as if they said he is a fake Jesus because he had the wrong passport. And the one who have the true passport, they believe in that he is Jesus. Because Allah gave a true passport for the false Jesus. And the real Jesus, he forgot the passport. 
And this is how the Jews, they were able to prove that the fake Jesus is Jesus. So they took the fake Jesus to the cross and they crucified the fake Jesus. And then all the disciples of Jesus, they thought this is Jesus because he looked like Jesus. He talked like Jesus. He act like Jesus. He have the eyes of Jesus. But the brother and sister, this was not Jesus. For Jesus is not Jesus and Allah is not Allah and Muhammad is not Muhammad. What's wrong with this clone religion? You are a bunch, bunch of a clone. Not a clown, a bunch of a clone. Allah, he clone, Yahya Kalbi, he make Jibreel like him. Shaitan, he clone Jibreel, and he come to Muhammad as Jibreel. Allah, he clone Jesus. I mean, this religion is a religion of a cloning. Everybody is a cloning everybody. Are you sure that your God is not Chinese? Counterfeit? Me. No, this, I'm not talking like Zach and Ike now. Actually, nobody can talk like Zach and Ike, to be honest with you. Zach and Ike, you have the most straight, direct, powerful answers. So if you ask him about the cloning of Jesus, he have different, different response. He will say, Great and Brinth, first of all, when Allah he cloned Jesus, Allah is the most perfect, and he declared is perfect too. Uh, what hold on, perfect? Are you speak Italian now? Christian Prince, oh, let me tell you to you. The cloning of Allah is perfect too. And that's why when Allah he makes a spaghetto, his spaghetto is better than the spaghetti. Because the spaghetto of Allah is perfect too. So Allah he cloned someone look like Jesus and it was perfect too. Cloning? Exactly. Krish, what? Zakir, did you say exactly? Excuse me. I mean, I mean perfect too. Exact law. Not exactly. Sorry. Uh, okay, Zakir. So it's exact law. Uh, so why, what is the purpose of Allah cloning someone look like Jesus? Is he trying to lie to us? Christian Pinto, I am not saying Allah trying to lie to you. Allah is lying to you because this is the perfect plan too. So Allah, he can deceive you. And this is the response of Zach and Naik. Who can beat that yo? Can you beat that yo? It's a perfect plan to from Allah to you. This is religion. What the heck? Can't Allah save Jesus without making all this drama? Take the, this, just take the guy. Hey, Isa, come on, let us go. All of this for what? So he made the Christian think he was on the cross. He made the Jews think he was on the cross. Three billion Christian right now, they think Jesus was a cross and it was not perfecto. Crucifixion ko. Because the stupid Muhammad ko, he come to you with the story yo. Are you there, Tariko? Hmm? What the heck is that? Yo. Hmm. Anyway, I think we have a good time together. Don't forget to download my videos, share them with your friends. You can cut my videos pieces. Actually, I will try from now on to make a certain time to stop. Like maybe, let us say, I will make it maybe, let us say, 40 minutes. What do you think, guys? 40 minutes is good, right? It's not too short. It's not too long. Or maybe 30 minutes. And I will put a timer next to me. And then before I start, I will make a promise which I cannot break. I will swear by the Quran. That's it. You cannot break because, by the way, the Quran says, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. What the heck? You can lie and you can take false oath, brother? Yes, brother. Unbelievable. What kind of religion this religion is? You can take false oath. Lying to Allah. Yes, brother. 30 minutes is good. Okay, let us do vote now. Serious, serious vote. If you think I should make 40 minutes, give me one. If you shink, if you think shink, what the heck with the shink? Allah is shin now. Allah is shink. I mean, I did not lose my teeth yet, and I'm saying shink. What will happen when I lose my teeth? I mean, can you be, uh, what do you shink? What kind of language is that? This is shinko language. I mean, this is, this is very horrible English now, shink. What? What's going on with the shinko? So if you shink, if you think I should go for 30 minutes, give me one. 
If you think I should go for 40 minutes, give me one. Now, if you are a Muslim and you think I should not come here at all, give me one too. I'm waiting. No, we said give me one. You don't give me 40 and 30. Just vote by the following. Put one. If you are a Muslim too, who you want me not to come here no more, give me one too. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, Leon. Okay, you gave me a lot of one. Do you know what happened now? Your keyboard is out of all the one you have. So from now on, if I say, give me one, you cannot give me one. I got you. <laughs> I got all the one you have. You know, remember, I just took Allah from your keyboard because Allah is one. Do you see what I was doing all this time? I was asking you to put one, 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 one. I took all your Allah. And now you have zero Allah in your keyboard. X Allah, that's it. There's no more one. From now on, I say to you, give me one. You cannot. You push one, you, 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 I will get two. Or maybe three. <laughs> Unbelievable. 1.5 hour at least. What about 1.5 day at least, man? Why are you being cheap? <laughs> All right, so we will see. We will make it shorter for sure, because you see, I, I don't know. In the last forty-eight hours, I don't know how many how many hours I am online. You can calculate that, or in the last week, but we will make it shorter so people they can download it easy, and they can uh, share it easy too. However, even if the long video is long, you can download, you can recut, and you can make a like a. As an example, I was speaking about the story of the beast. You can cut that part. Make it a video by itself. Now, our coming video is going to be about the people of Gog and Magog. And you will love it. You would love it. And if you are a Muslim, you will leave Islam. This is our topic, our coming one. I might go live again tonight. I might tomorrow. We will see. Until I see you again, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And if I was harsh on you, don't cry. Say goodbye. Don't come here again. You need to be a person who is able to handle it. That Santa Claus is real. And Allah is not. If you cannot handle the truth, that Santa Claus is real and Allah is not real, don't come here. Takbir. It's a proven every day that your God is a fake God. Holy Potter God. And we will see you soon again. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 